All right, y'all, welcome back here to the Bass Lawyer channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in again today. It's been a pretty fun fishing video with Trevor. We went out and actually fished a new body of water for the first time. The new area of this body of water that we haven't fished. Um, the grass has come up, hydro is essentially topped out, but the water throughout about a four to five day period came up about a foot. So there's a little bit of water over that grass. And what that allows is for a really good top water bite. We were able to really locate these fish after trial and trial and error that these fish wanted to feed on top. You know, we were throwing worms and doing the generic Florida grass fishing things, trying to catch these bass and trying to locate these fish and couldn't find them fishing the water column. Eventually picking up some top waters and catching these fish on top was uh, the go-to for them. So following up here is about four minutes of fishing action. Hello. Hi, um, I was gonna ask you, um, I'll try to have everything, um, yeah. So yes, in the video you'll see multiple fish catches of top water fish, Trevor nailing some fish on some top water swim baits, I caught some fish throwing a fluke and a walking bait. So there's about four minutes of four minutes of action coming up and then we'll meet again here at the end of the video to kind of talk about some setups, rods, reels, baits, things of that nature. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Left side. Up yeah, throw this thing out. Do you, I gotta say, everything's just like, I mean, I'm sure you can see out there with your glasses too. It's all just miles of grass. Oh. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> First one out there. <laughs> you said, oh. That a good one? It's so weird as they get up in that grass. Yeah, cool man. Ooh, yeah! Alright dude, I got a little tater tot on the boat, so co-angler today. Nice man. Good stuff, cool. Oh my, I fucking broke my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, man, it's a good one. There's more with them. Watch out, baby. <laughs> so I broke my wrist. <laughs> hit you with the old stick, huh? Yeah. Didn't move when you hit her. Busted me on top. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yep, right. Lots of grass on. One hook. Fatty Boomalatty, it's my favorite topwater bait. I mean, not my I've got a ton, but this one right here, I have caught a ton of fish on. There's some Mustad KBD hooks on it. Then I, I don't know what Mustad that is with the feather, but striking sexy dog, man. This thing is a killer walking bait. Good one. Oh, decent fish. That's not a bad one. Check out the colors on him. Good looking fish. 
So again, when these fish are in this type of mode, the easiest way to catch them in that type of cover is throwing top waters. You know, fish in this spot, we really, really weren't able to locate the bigger strain of fish, and we yet to on that spot. But, you know, being able to catch numbers and seeing fish come up and explode, it's a fun way to catch fish and locate them the way that we were. And when they get on a feeding frenzy like that in that type of area, throw them in these methods, you can catch a lot of fish and be super successful. So I mentioned one of my favorite topwater baits there was the Strike King Sexy Dog Junior. And this is essentially it right here. It is a about five inch walking bait. Perfect profile, especially for the type of shad that we were fishing around the bait fish that those bass were coming up against. And on my hooks, I changed them out for owner stingers and a owner feathered hook, which I don't know exactly the name for. I just enjoy that. I think it kind of helps blend that back hook in a little bit, the water column when it's floating up up there. But an excellent walking bait, great profile. Like I said, cast this thing a mile and it walks really good. So that and that type of offshore grass is, is great. You're gonna grab a lot of grass, a lot of hydrilla with obviously a treble hooks hanging off the back of your bait, but fish are gonna come up and absolutely explode on these things. And the next bait on this list of what we were fishing, I think is tried and true in Florida. And honestly, God, I think countrywide, anywhere that I have fished in the United States, I can get a bite on the good old super fluke. Now, this bait right here is one of those jokester baits where people are like, oh man, throwing a fluke must be desperate times. But desperate times call for desperate measures. And personally, I know if I'm not catching anything, I can rely on a super fluke just to get me a flipping bite and at least get a, a fish in the boat. So that's what I was doing in the get go when we started fishing this grass. You know, it was, it was such great water quality, water was clean, had good depth, and we had tons of bait around us. We just couldn't get bit. So I ended up picking up a fluke and had fish rolling on it on the surface. That's how I figured out these fish just, you know, want something coming across the top. Um, so a super fluke is always just going to be standard and a stud little bait just to throw around any offshore grass and hydro, especially if you're coming and visiting Florida here this summer. Be sure to pick up a bag of super flukes, have them in the boat, have them on a four odd extra wide gap hook, send it out and there's really no wrong way to fish them. That's what makes them so great. You can't work them too slow or too fast. They get bit and they get bit in all depths of water, all sorts of structure. So not gonna harp too much on the super fluke because everybody does essentially know a soft plastic jerk bait. But I do believe I have the best rod and reel to throw it on and that is a Loose Custom SLP with 17 pound high seas fluoro, followed by the Dobbin 734, which is a great all purpose rod, but when it comes to throwing weightless plastics, whether it be a Cinco or any style of soft jerk bait, the Dobbin's Fury 734. This is going to be your best, not only pot hopping rig, if that's kind of what you're into, so you can throw multiple baits, but just to have in the boat knowing that you can have a first swap combo. Um, so definitely check out the Dobbins Fury 734. This thing is legit. So that is it. The last bait we will be throwing tons, tons of weightless soft plastic swim baits. Uh, things like the Gambler Big Easy, Biospawn Exo Swims, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dippers, those style paddle tail swim baits. Be checking those out. Those are super popular here in Florida and we're going to be throwing those coming up. Hopefully getting on some solid bites as we can on certain patterns. So be sure to hit the thumbs up on this video and hit that subscribe to the Bass Lawyer channel so you can stick around and find all the awesome topwater fishing content that will be coming your way. We've got some great bites coming. Really excited to get out there and get some content to you guys. If you didn't see yesterday's video, it was in the description below. Had a complete wacko out on the lake. I actually pulled a weapon on us, so be sure to check out that video. So as always, I appreciate y'all's constant support. And until the next video here on the Bass Lawyer channel, I hope you guys get out there, stay safe. You're wearing those life jackets on those boats and you're breaking those PBs. Catch y'all out there on the water and right back here for another video. See y'all.